We often focus on what we're not looking for in a partner and the red flags we should look out for. You know, things like, is that person an idiot that will ignore me? Someone that will make me feel frustrated or someone I will argue with all the time? And then when we think about what we do want, we may come up with some superficial things at first. Things like, well, they should look like this and be this tall and have this type of physique and have a sense of humor and so on. And we're actually describing our type then, but we may be missing something absolutely crucial. Green flags. They should have a lot of green flags. See, where a red flag means stay away, this is going to end badly, a green flag means go. Go ahead. This person is very special and being with them will probably feel good and fulfilling. And we will not have to lie awake at night wondering why they still didn't text us back or why they suddenly got mad even though we did nothing wrong, or why everything always has to be about them, or why they keep saying, that's not what I said, when we are absolutely sure they did, or why they keep gaslighting us and other horrible things. Because instead, we will feel loved and respected and valued. Green flags predict that it could be awesome to date this person or to be in a relationship with them. We will feel happy most of the time, not confused and frustrated, and when something bad happens in our life, they will support us. They will make us feel better, not worse. They will build us up, not tear us down. So because I make videos for women about men on this channel, let's talk about eight green flags a man could have that can predict you may have a great relationship with him. If you don't know me yet, my real name is Geert. I'm an author. I also use the pen name Brian Knox. I write about dating and relationships and other topics. And the first green flag you absolutely have to look for if you are thinking about entering into a relationship with a man is respect and kindness. And I know you may think this one is as obvious as the fact that water is wet. But you wouldn't believe how many messages I've gotten over the years from women who contacted me about a man who did something that was clearly disrespectful and unkind, more than once, so we know it was not an accident, and yet they still wondered how they could make it work with him. They shouldn't even try because he was missing this green flag, respect and kindness. Does he listen when you talk? Does he care about your feelings? And he may not always understand them, but does he care that you have feelings? Is he trying to understand your feelings and is he considerate? And how does he treat other people, like waiters and strangers or his family? Is he respectful towards them? And no, 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 he's not kind to waiters, but he's kind to me, does not count here. And is he respectful during disagreements? Or does a different person come out? Someone you wouldn't want to be stuck in an elevator with, so to speak. This is a crucial green flag. It says a lot about how happy and fulfilled you will feel in that relationship. Now here's another one that is as important as the brakes on your car. Is he willing to apologize and to learn from his mistakes? Now you may already know that this one is not easy at all. Someone tells us we did something wrong and we're supposed to say, yeah, you're right, I'm sorry. I should have dealt with that in a different way. Without saying, uh, no, you are wrong. What planet are you from? I did that because... And then something that has absolutely nothing to do with us as an excuse. Or worse, I did that because of you. This is just a reaction to what you are doing. I'm clearly not the bad person here. You caused this. And with all due respect, I think you are exaggerating. And I'm sure if I would tell this to other people, they would agree with me. Because I'm the good person here. Yeah, it's pretty clear that it's a lot easier to be in a relationship with the first type of person, the person who's capable of apologizing, than with the second one. It takes a lot of strength and emotional intelligence to not only realize we are the ones that made a mistake, when we actually did, but then to also set our ego aside and to apologize, to make it right. Being able to do that is super important in any relationship. So it's also very important that the man you enter into a romantic relationship with can do this as well. Especially if you do not like fighting and silent treatments or going to bed angry. And also, an apology isn't just about saying, I'm sorry, or, and this is a bad one, I'm sorry you feel that way, because that's not even an apology. It's about understanding what went wrong and then making sure it doesn't happen again. If he can do this, this is a major green flag. Here's a bit of a strange green flag in a man. He still has a good relationship with his ex-girlfriend. Now, before this confuses you too much, 
I'm not saying he should see her every day or still have romantic picnics in the park with her, but for example, if he happens to bump into his ex-girlfriend in the supermarket, do you see him suddenly drop to the floor action movie style to then hide behind the fresh bananas and melons so she would not notice him? Or can he just walk up to her to say hi? Is he capable of having a normal conversation with her? If things ended really badly between them, then this may say a lot about her. She may be the bad person, but potentially also about him. He may be the bad person. And suppose you are with him in that supermarket. It's definitely interesting if a man does not want you to meet his ex. Because of what she may tell you, of course. Which again, can say a lot about her, but also about him. We just don't know. If, however, he can say, Hey, Sarah. Good to see you again. This is my new girlfriend, Caroline. Caroline, this is Sarah, my ex. Then that's a good sign. So it's a green flag if they can still be friendly without it being romantic. Because here's where this gets a little bit deeper. Having a good relationship with his ex also means he doesn't feel awkward when he's around her. He could feel awkward because he secretly wants to get back together with her. If the relationship is truly over, truly over, it will feel like he just saw an old friend. A person he has good memories with, but someone from a different chapter of his life that's in the past now. Now, just to make things clear, this video is about green flags. So him not having a good relationship with his ex-girlfriend is not necessarily a red flag. If she, for example, treated him badly, he may never ever want to talk to her ever again, which is normal. That pile of bananas and melons may come in handy then. Here is another green flag some women forget to pay attention to. He is patient. Patience is a great sign of emotional maturity. And if you have ever been with a man that still acts like a six-year-old, you know how important this one is. So here are some ways that you can see that he is patient. If you have a heated discussion with him, he lets you talk and doesn't interrupt you. Nor does he become defensive all the time. When you are getting ready to go out with him and you say it will just take five more minutes, but you both know you still have eight other outfits to try on, he says, don't worry, honey. I'm just going to perfect my Instagram scrolling technique. Take your time. Well, as long as it's not his Tinder swiping technique, this is a green flag. He also does not rush decisions. Not when it comes to the relationship either. He's serious about what he's doing and he's patient. Also, how does he deal with stress? Does he remain calm even though he feels a lot of stress? Those are signs of him having patience and emotional maturity. Green flag number five, he is consistent in his behavior. This means he does things like call you when he said he would. If you send him a text message and the check marks turn blue because he read it, it doesn't take him more than 24 to 48 hours to reply. If you make plans with him, he almost never cancels them, especially not at the last minute. In summary, his good behavior towards you and the relationship is consistent. His behavior is not hot and cold. It's not a lot of affection and attention one day, and then he disappears for a week and your messages remain unanswered. Here is another sometimes overlooked green flag. You like his friends. The people he hangs out with a lot. I think it was Jim Rohn who once said that we are the average of the five people we spend the most time with. Well, if you hate those five people, those five friends of his, if you would never ever want to spend an hour alone with them, then it's not looking good. It says a lot about him and who he is and what his values are. But if you do like his friends, well, that says a lot about him too. Great people wouldn't keep hanging out with him if he wasn't a great person as well. Our seventh green flag is that he doesn't freeze when you talk about the future. See, some men, also known as the uninterested ones, zone out as soon as you talk about the future. They are physically still present, but nothing of what you say registers. Or so it seems, because he is hearing it, of course, He's just getting in his head about it. And maybe he wonders, hmm, do I want her in my future? See, I know I don't. But how do I tell her that without making her mad or without making her leave me? Yeah, this is a tough one. Maybe I should ask ChatGPT how to deal with this. So a green flag is when he loves talking about the future. And it's not hard because he wants you to be in it. And there's no doubt about it. Now, a final green flag I really want to mention he is not putting you down for any reason under the sun. And yes, it was just a joke, is never a valid reason either. Now, there are many reasons why someone can try to put us down. Bad people do it to manipulate us, for example, but even good people can do it. 
Have you ever noticed that a certain friend who is very kind to you in person loves to put you down when you are in a group, when other people are present? Suddenly that person loves to make fun of some of the things you do. That's never an accident. They do it to feel important, to feel seen, to feel powerful, at our expense. Even if it was just supposed to be a joke, they are still using us for it, hurting us because of it, like a parasite. So in my opinion, this is not okay in a friendship, but definitely not in a romantic relationship. Now, some people try to put us down when we achieve something. You buy a new car and they say, yeah, yeah, it's great, but you know, it's just not the color I would have picked. You get a promotion. Yeah, 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 it's great, but I thought you would get a bigger raise. They didn't really increase your salary by a lot. See what I mean? They clearly are not happy for us because whatever we achieved seems to be hurting their own self-esteem or whatever. Now, a huge green flag in a friendship, but also in a romantic relationship, is when the other person can be truly happy for us. And when we rise because of something we have achieved, they do not try to pull us down. A good partner will be there for us during the hard times, but also the good times in our life. So I wonder, what are some of the green flags you have already noticed in the great men you met in your life or the man you are with right now? So please let me and the other people know that in the comments. And I'm really interested in that. Now, if you want more stuff that I'm not sharing over here, make sure to come over to brianknox.com and then to subscribe to my mailing list. Or you can read some of my books on Amazon. Just type Brian Knox in the search box. Thank you for still being here at the very end of this video. I love it when you do that. And the fact that you do that is why I'm still making these videos, by the way. It's for you that I'm making them. So I hope to see you in another one.